And it goes like this. Cannabis, the next meme stock target? Tilray CEO welcomes retail investors. <laughs> this is the David show. It's not the haters show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. Welcome, dudes and the dads. Chewy Sanchuets. Welcome back to the most monumental channel here on YouTube. And holy mofongo, yes, guys. Courting the same meme stock investors that back stocks like AMC, Erwin Simon, the head of cannabis product maker Tilray, said Tuesday that he welcomed the interest of retail investors in an interview with CNBC. Simon embraced the fact that Tilray had become a talking point in Wall Street bets and in other Reddit discussions. We love having them as part of our shareholders' base, he said referring to activist retail investors. Simon said these investors made excellent shareholders due to their high level of knowledge about the company and its products. He noted that a large number of retail investors have come into cannabis stock as evidenced by nearly 30 million shares of volume Tilray experienced during Tuesday's session. Simon's comments came after Tilray announced the launch of a new medical cannabis brand called Symbios. Speaking about the launch, Simon told CNBC that the product will provide a lower cost medical alternative for patients with pain and arthritis. He referred to it as a value added play in the market. The Tilray, C Tilray CEO also mentioned a new beer from Sweetwater available on Delta Airlines. So we gotta go high when we go high, you know what I mean? Shut! Man, oh man. Noting that he could see beverages with CBD and even THC on flights someday as a way to calm flyers' nerves. Tilray is no stranger, no stranger to frothy investor interest. The stock once the darling of cannabis investors reached a closing high of just under 150 in October 2018. It closed at 2022 on Tuesday. On an intraday basis, Tilray once touched $300, meaning it has lost more than 90% of its value from that peak. And you know what? We're going to review Tilray's chart. Why not? Here we go, motherfuckers. Here we go. So Tilray, man, oh, man, $20.72. Look at the range, guys. The range for $66. Dollars is about 227%. If we go further back to the monthly chart, we can see that the range is about 1,360s when we went to 200, no, actually 300, very shy of 300. That's about 1,382%. But let's keep ourselves grounded in reality. We want to see the first steps for this and i think that just creating a higher high from this resistance level will be much lovely and then reaching to the next resistance level at 31 if we get to break those levels we're gonna go to 66 i think we got a good momentum i think we're starting to see great structure still in a trend line i'm liking this over here i'm liking that it is higher than this previous lower high so now we're starting to create good structure we gotta get that higher high and we gotta get a higher low patience will pay off my friends i'm gonna be very honest i think so we're starting to look much better for tilray and great potential but, 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 but david i like tilray but what about sundial well let's review sndl motherfuckers sndl for all of you sundial from 117 to 116, I do like what he's doing. It looks pretty similar to what Tilray is doing. Sundial, from where he's at, has a range from the previous high, 26%. We are more than capable to go to the next high over here at 177, which is about 50%. And then I see $3.94, 236% to the upside. But that's not all because Tilray, uh, Tilray, Sundial actually was once at $13 and that is about a thousand percent of a range, which is something that I want to keep an eye on. I've been riding Sundial for quite a, 
quite a while. I've been waiting for the United States to get the marijuana legalized. Okay, that's going to be very critical for Tilray, Sundial, Kronos, right? You already know the, the symbols that I'm talking about. Kronos looks good as well. Looking like he just wants to go up again. Revisit that $15. That's, that's a 93%. From where we are, it's 78 And he can even go back to $25. That's about 183%. The other one that I've been looking at is Cernerba, guys. Z-Y-N-E. This one, a special golden nugget. I think that we are more than capable to reach $8.96, which is about 105%. If everything goes well, if we get some good news, we're going to go ahead and rock it to the upside. I even think that Sinerva not only can go to 16 or 26, it's more than capable to go to 42. And I've been adding to these positions for quite the, the time, my friends. And I'm liking the structure a lot. I'm liking this structure. We're already in profit with our last positions after breaking the resistance level here. You can see that we are already good in the right 17% doing amazing. But I want to know, what is your favorite pot stock? Which is the one that you're looking for? Uh, or do you think the industry will be going down to the bottom of the ocean with SpongeBob? Up? Remember, the videos are for entertainment and learning purposes. I'm not a financial advisor. I just do some... Over here with my friend, Shuey. You know how it is. And guys, let's go ahead and review the chat room. We got Peter Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Across Canada, I gotta say hi, motherfucker. I gotta say hi to the rock star Morris. 